In this tutorial, let's look at the structure and function of DNA briefly. DNA is one of the most famous of the biomolecules, and in 1953, two scientists, James Watson and Francis Crick, were the first to uh, discover its helical, double helical structure. And a uh, famous quote uh, has it that they say, this structure has novel features which are of considerable biological interest, which may be one of the greatest scientific understatements of all time. Uh, since DNA, 50 or 60 years later, has, uh, has completely transformed the way we understand biology and our ability to manip manipulate DNA now may well and truly transform our world. Um, Watson and Crick, uh, along with another scientist, Morris Wilkins, shared the Nobel Prize in Physiology um, in 1962 for this incredible discovery. So let's have a quick look at the basic structure of DNA. Um, as one of the key biomolecules. The structure of DNA is in the shape of a double helix where two nucleotide strands intertwine around each other. Shown in this diagram here, this molecular diagram, we can see one strand spiraling on this side and we can see the other strand shown here uh, spiraling around it and these two uh, strands of the DNA are connected via complementary nitrogen bases across the middle. So we talk about it as a double stranded nucleic acid molecule. So DNA of course stands for deoxyribose nucleic acid and this is where the DNA comes from or sometimes you'll see it written as deoxyribonucleic as one word acid either is acceptable let's have a look at the molecular structure in a little more detail Okay, so we can, uh, we can see that uh, in this particular diagram it gives us something of the detail of the two strands of DNA. So we have one strand here and we have another strand here, joined in the middle by the pairing of two nitrogen bases. Each nitrogen base from either side is paired by a relatively weak bond called a hydrogen bond. The four bases that are found in DNA are thymine, T, adenine, A, cytosine, C, and guanine, G. And T and A are complementary, and C and G. So C will only ever pair, uh, pair with G, and vice versa, and T will only ever pair with A, and vice versa. Um, each nucleotide subunit is linked end-to-end, so the nucleotide subunit, as we saw in the RNA tutorial, of course comprises a base, deoxyribose sugar, and a phosphate group. So that's one nucleotide unit. It's linked to another nucleotide unit here, another one there, and another one there, and so on down the length of the chain. Each nucleotide subunit is made up of a nitrogen base, a deoxyribose sugar, and a phosphate group, PO4. On a DNA molecule, each strand runs in opposite directions, and we'll just have a quick look at what we mean by this. So I'm going to clear the ink off this page and explain what's meant by the 5' prime and the 3' prime end of DNA. You'll see this here, this 5 dash is referred to as 5 prime, and what it's referring to is that on one strand of the DNA, that at the end of the strand, at the end of the DNA molecule, the fifth carbon in the sugar, that is this carbon here, is linked to a free phosphate group. 
So this is the end of the DNA molecule. Um, at this end of the DNA molecule on this side, the free phosphate group is connected to the fifth carbon. So the carbons are counted from here, so that's number one carbon, number two carbon, number three carbon, number four carbon, and number five carbon. So the five prime end of the DNA molecule is the end which has a free phosphate group hanging off the fifth carbon. So we run down one strand. Let's have a look for a second. So this strand runs from the five prime down towards the three prime end. Now at the three prime end, down the other end of the, um, the DNA molecule, you have a, an OH group, a hydroxide group here, that is connected to the third carbon. So remember this is carbon number one, carbon number two, this is carbon number three, that's carbon number four, and that's carbon number five. So off the three carbon, number three carbon is a hydroxide group, OH. So they talk about this as the three prime end of the DNA molecule. So one strand runs from the five prime to the three prime, and then on the other side of the DNA molecule, it runs in the opposite direction. Five prime is down this end, and three prime is at the other end. Now let's finish the tutorial by just having a look at the molecular structure in a little more detail. So we'll just clear the ink off the screen. We'll reduce the size of that diagram and bring in this diagram to finish off the tutorial. So in this diagram we can see some slightly more detail in the molecular structure of DNA. Again you'll now be familiar, see if you can pause the tutorial and just identify what we've been talking about. Remember not to be bamboozled by all the atoms and the structures, just look for the basic layout of the molecule and you should have no trouble recognizing the different parts. So you should have recognized that these are the, carb uh, the nitrogen bases so there's adenine, guanine, cytosine, and thymine. You'll see that you have the deoxyribose sugars running down the spine of the DNA molecule. You can see there's your one prime, that's your number one carbon, number two carbon, number three carbon, number four carbon, and number five carbon. And at the five prime end you have your three phosphate groups. Down at the three prime end, down this end here, you have your hydroxide group uh, at the other end. And then, of course, you would have another side to the DNA molecule that's connected and uh, running this way. So this should give you a basic insight into the structure of DNA.